Hello everyone, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and today as promised I'm going to be doing another haul video like how I do every year. I'm going to be showing you what I got for Christmas for 2021. And yep, yeah, so let's just get started. So first I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got in my stocking this year and these are all from my dad. So first of all I got this mug here which is in the shape of a Christmas tree which I think is so clever. <laughs> it's still got the cardboard on it just because I want the lid to stay in place for now. <laughs> but yeah, really excited to use this. And then I got this dress ball here which is in the shape of a bear or a bear's head. <laughs> Again still in packaging. Can't really squish it in the packaging but anyways. <laughs> and then I also got this fidget toy here which you may recognise. It is this little peas in the pod fidget toy. I absolutely love these. They're a lot of fun to play with. <laughs> And it has a face on it, hopefully you can see. Hold on. Sorry about the uh, quality. <laughs> and then also got these poppet toys right here. And these are all Squid Game poppet toys because I absolutely love the series. So this one here, it looks a lot like a, like a Lego figurine, but it's meant to be the robot from the Red Light, Green Light game. And then all these ones here are shaped like squids, of course. And they all have the symbols on them, so the triangle, the circle and the square. I really like the, the designs on these. And they also got these here, which I think are just super cool. It's these little sardines in the tin, but they are actually chocolate. And I just find these so unique. I just love weird gifts like this. <laughs> so yeah, really excited to try these out. And I'll probably keep the packaging so that way I can make some little sardine squishies to go inside once I'm finished. <laughs> As you can see, these look very detailed because of the foil on them. So those are all the things that I got in my stocking. And then moving on to all of the clothes that I got this year. So first of all, I got these free shirts. So I got this one, which of course is a Squid Game shirt, and it says the number 456 on the side. It still has the tag on it, ignore that. <laughs> and yeah, it's just an all black t-shirt and it also says the number on the back as well. And then I got this Avril Lavigne shirt because I absolutely love Avril Lavigne and I'm absolutely in love with her new song at the moment. <laughs> And again, just an all black t-shirt. I really like to wear all black shirts pretty much most of the time. <laughs> and then I have another Squid Game shirt over here. And I wore this one yesterday. This is my most favourite shirt. It is the robot from, again, the Red Light, Green Light game. And then I got this pair of pyjamas here from my aunt and uncle and these just look so comfy I can't wait to wear these. So it came with these like bluish grey trousers and it came with this shirt here which has this really colourful leopard print on it. The 
it just looks super comfy. <laughs> those are all the clothes that I got and then moving on to all of the films that I got so first of all I got these three Disney films here and I really wanted to get some like classic Disney films this year so I got The Lady and the Tramp and I got The Aristocats which is one of my most favorite Disney films I watched this yesterday with my dad and I just felt just like so good just watching it again because I haven't seen this in ages and then I also got Bambi, which I actually haven't seen, so I'm really excited to see this one. I might watch it tonight, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> and then just these two films here, and you might remember that I got The Spanish Princess Season 1 last year, and this time I got Season 2, which I cannot wait to watch. I absolutely love watching historical uh, series like this. And then I got this film from my aunt and uncle. And by, by the way, all these films here are from my dad. And then this one's from my aunt and uncle. And it is Dances with Wolves. And I watched this with them when I was on holiday one time. I, I think, or I was at their house. I, I think I was actually at their house. But anyways. <laughs> and yeah, just absolutely loved the film. So they ended up getting it for me for Christmas. <laughs> So there's all the DVDs. And now moving on to just some more like random items that I got this year. So next I got this really cute little panda ice cream which is a pencil case as you can see. And I absolutely love this, it's so adorable. <laughs> I love to collect weird stationery like this so I'm really happy that I got something like this. still has the tag on it <laughs> and I would unzip it but I don't think I can do it with one hand oh yes I can <laughs> see as you can see it is a pencil case And then I got something which is really just really funny like I actually giggled quite a lot when I got this it is this mask and I'm absolutely obsessed with Tudor history it's probably that like, my most favorite uh, part of history so my dad ended, ended up getting me this Henry VIII mask so it's meant to be King Henry VIII and I just find this so hilarious <laughs> So yeah, we love to get each other just like really, really weird gifts and this is definitely weird and it made me laugh a lot. <laughs> and then I got this kit here also from my dad. It is this rock painting kit. And I really want to start doing this. I thought about it for a while. So my dad ended up getting me this kit which I'm really excited to try out and it actually comes with the rocks as well which I think is really good and you can definitely tell because the box is very heavy <laughs> so this one here you can paint all different kinds of animals but I'm probably not like just going to do animals like I want to do other things as well since there's a few rocks in here so yeah super excited to try this out And then I got another calendar this year and it is a Squid Game calendar which I absolutely love. Again, I told you I'm obsessed with the series. So I'm yet to put this up on my wall. I'll probably do that once this video goes up. But here's just an example of what some of the months look like. Again, sorry about the video quality. <laughs> But yeah, just all different uh, photos of different scenes from the series. Which I just find so, so cool. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be putting this up on my wall once this video goes up. 
And then I got this little stationery set here, which is a Harry Potter stationery set. And it is pretty sure it's... Um, oh, I thought it was Ravenclaw theme because of the blue colours, but I don't think it is. <laughs> And again, I love to collect that odd and like, interesting stationery. So again, really happy about this. So it comes with a ruler, a pencil, a pen and an eraser and also a sharpener. Then the bag says Hogwarts on it. And it's a reusable bag. <laughs> And then next I got two more sets of brushes, both from my dad. And this one here comes with a zip case, which I'm really happy about. So that's going to be very useful. <laughs> and I got this set here. So yeah, brushes are always useful to me, as you know. <laughs> So there's those. And then moving on to all of the food items that I got. So next I got this big, it's uh, shaped like a stocking, which I think is really clever. And it is full of these just classic chocolate bars, which I amazingly still haven't opened yet, but I probably have once this video goes up. <laughs> and I think this is from my aunt and uncle. I'm trying not to get confused as to who's got me what but yeah <laughs> and then I got this tin here which is filled with these Reese's peanut butter miniatures I absolutely love this chocolate and absolutely love peanut butter whereas my dad hates it <laughs> and it comes in this really cool tin and I've actually had quite a few of these already <laughs> and this is from my friend And again, like the sardines one, I'm probably going to keep the tin and probably make some little mini squishies to go inside it once it's empty. Again, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> and then I got this box of Toffee Fee. And I've seen this advertised so much. I'm really excited to try it. I actually can't remember if I have tried this before. I probably have, but I... I barely even remember it, so I'm really excited to have it again if I have tried it before. <laughs> and then I got this bag of chewy sweets here, these chewy sour sweets from my aunt and uncle. And it says reindeer treats on the label. Sorry again, it's blurry. But yeah, I think that's really cute. And they're actually shaped like little carrots, which is why they're called reindeer treats. <laughs> and then next I got this huge box here from my brother and his girlfriend. And I am so, so excited about this because this box is filled to the brim with Japanese snacks. And also the box itself is very pretty as well. Really like the designs on it. And yeah, like I said, it is just filled to the top with Japanese snacks. And I just cannot wait to try these all out. And I'm probably going to get my dad to help me. <laughs> so it comes with this little catalogue here, which just talks about all the snacks that are inside of here. And I'll just show you a few of them as an example. So you get these Kit Kats here. And then this here, which I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> and then these, which I've seen before. And then just loads of other just like different kinds of snacks in here which I just cannot wait to try. 
so I'm probably going to do a series or something on my channel where I try these with my dad because I probably won't be able to uh, uh, try these in all one video it'll probably have to be a series <laughs> oh and it also comes with a drink as well so yeah thank you so much to my brother because I'm just so so excited to try these I absolutely love trying out Japanese snacks I'm just really fascinated by it and yep that's that one and then another thing I forgot to show you which is kind of in a way like related to the clothing items I got all of these scrunchies here from my dad and they're just all in these really beautiful colours so yeah I definitely wanted more of these just because I find these so much more comfortable to wear than just regular hair ties which is what I used to wear a lot on my hair and I'm actually wearing one of these right now. It is like this navy blue colour or like this ultramarine colour. I absolutely love it. I'm just so excited to just have more of these because I only had just a couple at first. And they were both just black. So I wanted some that were just in like loads of different colours. But yeah, just so happy with these. I just find these so much more comfortable to wear. And then over here on my bed, I got this blanket from my aunt and uncle. And it has butterflies all over it. And again, this is super soft. It's kind of in a way similar to the texture of these. <laughs> But yeah, just so soft and so comfortable. I actually had this around me last night and it definitely kept me warm. <laughs> and I just have it on the end of my bed. Sorry about the mess here. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this. And also just think the design on it is so pretty. So there's those. And then over here up on my wall I have this wall scroll. And this is really cool because I've never had a wall scroll before. And again this is of King Henry VIII because like I said I'm absolutely obsessed with Tudor history. And again, this is from my dad. So this is based on a painting by Hans Holbein, I'm pretty sure. I absolutely love this painting of him. And I'm really glad I was able to find somewhere for this. I think it works really well here. <laughs> and as you can see, it is also very big. And then lastly, over here on my door, or on the back of my door, I have this poster. Which again is another Tudor related thing. <laughs> And it just talks about the six wives of Henry VIII. And again, this poster is from my dad. And the style of this one just reminds me of the posters that I saw up a lot in my classrooms at school. <laughs> so it does make me feel very nostalgic. <laughs> I absolutely love this one. I'm really glad I was able to put it up on here. Because again, this is very big, a lot bigger, or quite a bit bigger than the wall scroll. <laughs> so yeah, you can see that I am really, really like, fascinated by Tudor history. <laughs> 
I just never get bored of it. Like I could just listen to like the history of the cheetahs over and, and over again and just never get bored of it. <laughs> so yeah, I just think this is so perfect for me. And yeah, that is everything that I got for Christmas. And yep, that is everything that I got for Christmas for 2021. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And you also see now that I'm wearing my Avril Lavigne shirt. <laughs> Hopefully you can see. There we go. <laughs> and by the way, I was not trying to brag in any way whatsoever in this video. I just wanted to show you the things that I got. And I am so, so thankful for everything that I got. So I just want to say thank you so much to all my family and also my friend for getting me these presents. I just love everything so much. And yep, yeah, that is it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.